Hey guys, and how about we watch a death battle, Hagar vs Zangief. Now I don't know anything about these characters, but I did take the time to look up what games they're from. Hagar is apparently from the game Final Fight, which I didn't even know existed. As far as I can recall, I've never heard of it. You know, I've heard of games like Mortal Kombat, but never Final Fight. And Zangief is from Street Fighter. I think specifically Street Fighter 2, but don't hold that against me. Or don't hold me to that? Don't take my word for it. Also, I will be watching the entire death battle, so if you don't want to be spoiled, click off this video. If you want to see the official release, head right over here. So not knowing anything about them, it's rather kind of hard to predict who will win. Um, but I do think that it'll be fun, because they both seem like the kind of burly macho men sorts of guys, and that can always be amusing to see. This might be the shortest pre-video segment ever. So with that, let's get to watching. So from what I know, which is nothing, I think I went Hagar to it, and he just... He kind of reminds me of, um, of deadly warriors, um, Saxton Hale from Team Fortress 2. So, yeah. Hagar, the mayor elect of Whoopath, and Zangief, Russia's Red Cyclone. These two wrestlers have never met in person, but their rivalry is legendary. Is and it? It's about time they duped it out. I'm Wizard, and he's Boomstick, and it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. They do look fun, though. Standing six foot seven and weighing 266 pounds, 30 of which is probably in his manly mustache, <laughs> it's Mike Hagar! For many years, Hagar was a champion wrestler of Slam Masters, until being elected mayor of Metro City, a metropolis oh, he's a mayor. with street gangs. Good for him! Bad, there are more badasses in office. Most mayors would just put up laws against crime or increase the police force, but Mike takes matters into his own hands. <laughs> Hagar is a former pro-American wrestler cool. specializing in grabs. Just goes out and deals with it himself. He's of Scottish ancestry and proud of it, even having a Scottish flag on his gym. It's likely he has also trained in Scottish backhold wrestling, which involves bear hugging an opponent and keeping your balance while overpowering theirs. Yeah. Hagar's got a devastating moveset ranging from suplexes, body splashes, and his own invention, the spinning clothesline so double he just like jumps which like Zangief stole for his own use. To even the score, oh. Hagar copied Geef's spinning pile driver. When Hagar isn't overpowering people with his pure manliness, his weapon of choice is a blunt pipe. Hey, he's a mayor that kicks ass and recycles. There even we after go. after <laughs> his victorious election, Hagar continued his rigorous training. By pile driving sharks! It appears Hagar wrestles bull sharks, one wow. of the deadliest sharks on Earth. These can grow up to 11 feet long and weigh up to 500 pounds. Wrestling these proves Hagar's proficiency in the Scottish backhold, as he keeps his balance against the thrashing sharks until he can pile drive them into the beach. Next oh. drop movie needs more Hagar. Unfortunately, during his time as mayor, Hagar was undoubtedly forced to prioritize politics over training. It's likely right. he didn't have much time to learn new techniques or train against many other wrestlers. As a result, he uses moves and skills from an older era. But they seem to work pretty damn well. Oh well, yeah, as long as they work, right? Touch. Right? Mike Hager, the candidate who puts people first. <laughs> Zangief stands Zangief. 7 feet tall at 350 pounds, weighing in as one of the strongest on the street fighting circuit. And as a testament to his manliness, check out that wicked shin hair! Zangief is a champion wrestler in Russia, <laughs> using push and pull techniques to throw his opponents off balance. He also specializes in sambo, a combination of wrestling and martial arts. He's not skilled in leg locks and chokeholds, but his grappling, submissions, and he groundwork does look are pretty good. to none. Zangief's best moves include his double lariat, atomic suplex, flying powerbomb, and a wicked oh, backhand ow. called the Banishing Flag. A move Zangief learned specifically to counter projectiles. Zangief hates projectiles. His signature move is the spinning pile driver, which he learned after getting caught in a cyclone while pile driving a bear. That is wow. the most awesome thing I've ever heard. Actually, wrestling bears has been Zangief's favorite training <laughs> oh, exercise. Oh, wow, those are big bears. Kid. Supposedly, he wrestles grizzly bears, but these are not native to Russia. It's far more likely he wrestles a Surrey brown bears, which can weigh up to 1,500 twice pounds. Twice as large as grizzly bears. Well, twice the size of a full-grown grizzly. All oh, right. shit! He pile drive one of those into a tornado? Battling such a massive beast corresponds with his Russian wrestling training perfectly, forcing the bears to to lose their balance and knocking them out cold. Zangief wow. is a loyal Russian through and through, always fighting for his country rather than personal gain. He is often employed by the Russian president as the country's <laughs> official fighting representative. That said, Zangief is pretty dim-witted, more a follower than a leader. Mm. He fights with instinct rather than reason. All the more reason to get out of his way. <laughs> <laughs> Poor dog. <laughs> Zangief broke you. All right, the combatants are set. The unstoppable force against the unmovable man. Get ready, Let's pause. This debate once and for all. Wait up! First, I gotta pay for my laser-guided kitten cannon. Laser what? Thanks to Netflix. And... Suck it up, you babies. This kitten cannon's important to me. Now, okay. 
So, let's talk about this really quick. Um, it's actually looking to me like Zangief is going to win. They did say that he was dim-witted, which oftentimes seems to be a big thing in death battles. Um, and it makes sense, you know, if you can't strategize, if you can't, like, find your opponent's weakness and, like, accurately exploit it, then, you know, things aren't gonna work out in your favor. But Zangief, even if he fights according to instinct, that's really all you might need. They didn't say that Hagar was specifically, like, you know, smart either. They didn't say he was dim-witted, but they didn't say that he, like, actively sought out ways to best get at his opponents, did they? I didn't think so. And, um, you know, unless they take, like, the politics into that, but I don't think that has anything to do with it. It's intellectual, kind of, but, you know, not related to fighting. Um, it seemed to me, too, like Zangief had a more varied and a more, like, kind of vicious fighting style. I mean, Hagar seemed great, and I still think that I like him better, because, like, as a character, he just looks... He looks funnier to me. Saxton Hale, Team Fortress 2, like I said. Those kinds of guys are funny. Cave Johnson sort of thing. But I'm thinking Zangief is going to win this one. So let's get back to it. And play. Ooh, I wish I could do that. <laughs> Good start. I like this. He's just... <laughs> Ow. Oh, he's got his pipe. I was also going to say, it doesn't look like Hagar had any projectiles. Unless he's going to throw so close. <laughs> Wow, all sorts of things here. I thought I saw Big and Pedo Bear and... <laughs> oh. Are they gonna start switching? Yeah, oh no! Ah! Oh! Ah! Who's gonna end up on bottom? I can't tell! Looks like Hag. <laughs> ha! Ha! The great man has ha! fallen today. Hagar and Sangeef's <laughs> similar moves that appeared evenly matched, anticipating each other's moves and countering with their signature attacks. He led a long, productive life, kicking ass, ruling Metro Poor City, boomstick. keeping the beaches safe from rogue sharks. <laughs> Not only is Zangief almost 100 pounds larger than Hagar, he's also 13 years younger and been training all his life. I'm oh. gonna miss that wonderful mustache. <laughs> Zangief's youth and lack of political agenda were enough to give him a slight edge. Poor Hagar, he may pile I'll drive sharks, but Zangief's bears are three times larger and probably twice as dangerous. There's sure, that Hagar too. can grapple a half-ton shark without falling over, but if Zangief can push around 1,500-pound bears as a hobby, Hagar didn't stand a chance. Yeah. He definitely put up a great fight, though. <laughs> that he did. Zangief just found his window of opportunity. The winner Hi. is Zangief. <laughs> Next time All right, grabs for Zangief. Ah! Found my magazine. We're good at the Ninja Turtles. I love the Ninja Turtles. Like the old style Ninja Turtles. I watched the original three movies and those were just fun. I'm gonna watch to the end of this to make sure nothing good happens and then we'll get back to you. Nope, so there was nothing at the end of that one, so let's get straight to talking about it. Hagar vs. Zangief. I really enjoyed this fight just because, again, like the macho ness behind it. It's funny, it is. Um, I still think that Hagar was my favorite of the two. Again, I listed those reasons before, he just seemed funnier to me, and maybe that's a big winning point for me, I don't know. But I didn't even think about the bears exactly when I was thinking about how Zangief would win. I was more thinking about like the versatility of his moveset, and how he just seemed to be more powerful. But the bears certainly fit, and they certainly help confirm that sort of thought, so there we go. <laughs> I'm not sure if they talked about the ages. They used that at the end, like in their conclusion. If they used it during like the analyses, I just missed it, but I guess that would play into it too. Um, obviously Hagar must be a little bit older if he's been in office for a while, but Zangief, you know, he really had that going for him. If he's younger, he's probably, you know, more capable in that sense. I don't know. Not to say that all like older men are not, but you know what I mean. And all the little references that were thrown out in this one, everything that was like tossed out the window, that was great. Um, I think that Wiz animated this one, right? So yeah, good job Wiz, that was good. 
Another thing I thought while watching it, just at the end with that whole like cyclo and pile driver sort of thing, was um, did Hagar have one of those? Because I knew that he pile drived people, but did he cyclone while doing it? I know Zangief did because, you know, the whole like tornado kind of thing or whatever it was. But if Hagar wasn't trained in that, if he wasn't like efficient in that himself, or proficient, yeah, proficient in that himself, then Zangief had that on him too. He had more control. He was more used to that kind of attack, and so he could better land it how he wanted it to land. And going from the top of a building, or <laughs> somewhere high up in the building, that would do some damage. So I thought that was fun. I'm not going to complain about the results or anything. I agree with them. And another good death battle. That was good. I enjoyed that. So with all that, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, of course, feel free to a like, comment, and if you're new, even subscribe. It means a lot. It really helps me out, and I would love to have you guys. So tune in next time for my next video. And until then, take care.